Hey everyone, welcome back to Devrite Technologies. In this video, we are going to implement Microsoft Bot Framework Web Chat Authentication for managed identities. In our last two videos, we implemented for single tenant, multi tenant, and in this video, we are going to implement it for user assigned managed identity. So let's get started. I'm here in my resource group that we created earlier. I'll create a new bot service. This one, I'll name this as bot user assigned managed identity. Auth bot dev. I'll switch to the free plan and the type of bot will be user assigned managed identity. Here, just note this one for user assigned managed identity and single tenant app. Composer is not yet supported for bots with these app types. Bot Framework SDK version 4.15.0 or higher is needed. That's fine. Let's go next. And create. It will create two resources for me. One is the bot service. Second is the managed identity resource. Managed identities are used for authentication purpose without you using the application secrets. For example, in this case, we don't have to use app password. Our managed identity will be used to authenticate with the bot. Even when you publish the bot to the Azure app service, you don't have to put app password in the configuration file. You just need to attach this managed identity to your app service so that app service can authenticate with Azure bot service using the managed identity. So that's the process. Let's continue. I'll just show you the resource group. This is a managed identity resource that got created along with my user assigned managed identity bot service. Okay. I'll go to the configuration and my bot type is user assigned managed identity. So I'll just enter that here. This is my app ID. Okay, now let's go to the documentation and see what all things are required for user assigned managed identity. So the bot authentication document implements the user assigned managed identity. Here you can see. And let's see, this is the one. So app type we have given, client ID we have given, app password it's not required leave this blank and the tenant id is required so so user assigned managed identity is a single tenant bot service but with an added security of managed identity so it's again type of a single tenant bot all right so that's all now let's continue here you can see how you can connect your app service to user assigned managed identity for the authentication purpose. This is only required when you are publishing the bot to Azure app service. Okay. Now, here you can see single tenant, multi tenant bots have an app secret or password that you need for some operations. Okay, this we don't need for the user assigned managed identity. 
now coming back here for the entry id let's create a new app registration app reg user assigned managed identity auth bot dev i'll keep this as single tenant and let's enter the supported url register perfect now let's configure the api permissions this we did two times now it's the third time that we are doing microsoft graph delegated permission then open id profile email perfect now coming back to our bot service adding the oauth connection let's name this as oauth connection active directory version 2 getting the client id from the newly created app registration client secret let's go ahead and create one token exchange url will be blank getting the tenant id and the scopes profile space open id space what was the other one email space user dot read let's see if our connection is successful we got the permission request accept we got the token copy the token let's go to jwt.io just to verify the details that we have in the token and there we have all the details name email user object id scopes okay perfect uh, now let's copy the connection name go to visual studio paste it here and save it all right now the question arises if the app password is not there how we can test in the emulator this test we need to make what happens when the app password is not there and how we can test in the emulator or whether we can test it or not in the emulator we need to check that okay so let's suppose okay yeah first of all let's run the project i have given the bot url first let's enter only the app id and leave blank the app password let's see what happens so oh, before that let's connect it as is without entering the app id and app password what happens here we can see unauthorized okay i can also see all the details here so it doesn't work now coming back here now we'll only enter the app id connect it's again says unauthorized so that means we cannot test in the emulator with localhost 3978 so it doesn't work now what to do let's connect through ngrock that's our last resort let's open ngrock copy the url open emulator paste it slash api slash messages and connect okay it again says unauthorized that's good let's go back 
this time let's enter the app id no so that means it doesn't work on user assigned managed identity in your bot framework emulator so let's test finally on the azure bot web chat okay let's go there enter the messaging endpoint my messaging endpoint is here slash api slash messages and save it let's see if it works in the test in web chat or not no it still doesn't work it says unauthorized okay so there is no way we can work with user assigned managed identity locally let's check the documentation let's see if we have something here for testing in emulator or in web chat Let's go to this documentation and see if we find something for user assigned managed identity. Nothing. I did not find anything yet. Usually what happens when we are implementing managed identities, right? Let me take an example for blob storage or table storage. In simple words, storage account. Let's take an example of storage account. If we want to authenticate with the storage account using managed identities, for local development, what we do, we give access control IAM permission to the respective developer so that they can authenticate with the storage account without using its connection string or API keys. They can authenticate with the storage account using their logged in credentials, either using Visual Studio authentication or CLI authentication. Okay, that is during the development environment. So when they publish it, what they do? We authenticate using the managed identities. So basically we go to access control IAM and give managed identity the permission to authenticate or access certain services inside storage account okay uh, let's try one thing let's try to do the same thing uh, using this approach let's see whether it will be possible to do it or not i don't see any good permission over here no these are some of the generalized uh, permissions i have taken the storage account uh, example right in that they mention as table storage contributor data reader but here i don't have such permissions okay so that's all i think we cannot achieve it Let's try. Let's uh, let's see it on online. Let's see if we can find something. Somebody has asked a similar question. Yes, it says unauthorized managed identities are designed to authenticate Azure services to each other without the need for keys. To ensure application security, managed identity applications will not respond to requests without approval from managed identity endpoint. These endpoints cannot be reached by requests that originate from outside another Azure app. Therefore, due to security concerns, debugging the managed identity through emulator is unsupported. So that's confirmed that we cannot test the managed identity bots in emulator. So my final conclusion is user assigned managed identity bots cannot be tested outside azure environment 
so that's the conclusion i have received from so many github issues stack overflow pages and the only solution is deploy and then connect it if you still want to develop it in your local environment i would suggest you to create a separate bot service for your local development that will be a single tenant bot and then test it or debug it locally when you're ready for the deployment then you can create a production user assigned managed identity bot and that you can directly publish it and connect it through okay so let's continue ahead uh, let's make it something useful for this particular project i'll be publishing this azure windows So I'm just creating the app service right from the Visual Studio. This is the hosting plan that I'm creating, which is also called as app service plan. And I'm choosing the same resource group where my bot services are kept. Okay, that's all. I'll just select my app service, create the publishing profile. And finally, publish it. it's published let's copy the url go back to our resource group open the app service go to identity user assigned click on add and choose the managed identity that is all now going back to the bot service replace the endpoint uri with the new domain and apply go to web chat let's see if this is going to work or not there it is i'll just close the ngrock and let's say hi to the bot sign in copy the token paste it here yes view the token and there we have the token so this seems to be successful you can also debug the same published bot if required by enabling this particular option from here configuration and scroll down remote debugging you can enable that if you want to enable it your published bot you can do so we have created exactly same video how you can debug the published bots on your visual studio okay so that is all here in this video thanks everyone see you in the next one